So this is what I mean by strange things with the weight because of light model. So if, if, if I load different weights in Microsoft Flight Simulator weight and balance, first of all it goes to center of gravity 27. So uh, and it should keep around regardless of what weight I put in should keep around 20 23 central gravity never ever should go go to this never ever and also it's very strange that uh, these dummy uh, dummy weights are in shown in uh, weight and balance in flight scene they should be probably hidden or something they, they should not be shown in, even if you shouldn't load weight here, you should load it in another place. There's no reason for this to be here. So I if I drag this to zero, yeah, you, you can see of course, zero the weights and the normal center of gravity. I've reason the, the fuel for to 5800 and if I, let's go for 60 ton total Take off weight, same as cross weight. So if I go to 60 tons, for example, cross weight, it's already at 23.8 in center of gravity, and it's only loaded business class and very little economy. This is not the likely scenario that everyone is sitting in business class. And basically, no one is sitting rest of the cabin and you can see the weights also so it's if for example if I load it to let's say 70 tons it's all almost max still ev everyone is sitting in business class no one is sitting, and it's all it's the center of gravity is 26 it's, you never lift off with 26 in center of gravity and uh, Apparently, no one has anything with them, no no cargo at all. So, and if I load it to 80, uh, 80 tons, max weight, uh, first of all, it should be a warning here. There's no warning of overweight here. It's a warning in the, in the instructor station, and it's now center of gravity 27. And it loads the dummy stations. And everyone is sitting in the business class. This is not a very likely scenario. So if we skip this and load it uh, with uh, load it with the instructor station instead. So I take something more. Yeah, 25 percent. The center of gravity is 90.2. Yeah, fairly reasonable. And four people in the business class and let's say 60 tons now we have uh, 45 uh, 55 uh, tons now I, when I load it now we're starting to get close to 60 tons and the center of gravity is also over 23 already so let's let's push put some more people here okay like eight, eight people that's more reasonable i think uh, and we are just 57 so let's put in 60 tons now the center of gravity is quite normal but if we look at how max flight simulator is loading look at this very strange values or no values at all and if we close this and go to weights again and look at this what happened to all the weights no sync between weights in SFS and between uh, instructor station so now the center of gravity is yeah doesn't even say what center of gravity is here okay but 
Okay. So I have 100%. And I still have only a gross weight of uh, 60 tons. Let's go to... Gross weight 62 tons. Okay, but let's put like... 25% fuel there and 100% fuel there. Now we are closing to 67 tons. Still a fairly okay center of gravity value. But very strange values here. No values here. No uptick here. So, first of all, is there any consensus or general idea if you should load it? Instructor station, or should I load it with MSFS? One way I've heard that you should load it first with with instructor station uh, with the MSFS. MSFS, um, but it should keep around between 19 and uh, 22. Keep. Let's let's have a quick look at what happens in in DG if I, I do gravity uh, center of gravity thing so let's go to this uh, to main menu and uh, just go and choose indeed and look at how yeah we can do a fast look at the aircraft weight so here if I load it to this for example and I start to... this is the default center of gravity. So the dummy stations are zero and this is the weighting of all the other stations. And if I want, for example, 60 tons, the center of gravity goes to 24 almost. And it puts weights in the dummy stations. And if I go to... Yeah, let, let's say I want uh, fuel of uh, five tons, five tons fuel, and uh, I want sixty tons. And is the empty weight really forty-one tons if I have forty percent payload? The empty weight that reflect when 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 I'm out of fuel. So when I'm out of fuel, it have four thousand one hundred eighty. So if I put some weight in max payload, you can see it moves to twenty nine center of gravity. And uh, if I put, yeah, I put like 2,500, let's say that. And then this changes. But it still moves a lot. Central gravity moves a lot. So with 28% central gravity. If I go to um, aircraft and selector and select PNDG, uh, and weight and balance and we do the same here for this so we set uh, 2000 yeah first of all it changes that too but let's set this to 2500 and change this to zero so we have a center gravity of 25.1 and let's now change the weight and see where we we are at so this is also a little wrong because we don't have a lot of fuel. It should still not be 25% in central gravity. Um, and if we put this to this, you, they, they don't, I don't think they load the plane like this. They, they first fill the wing tans tanks and then they start load the, the center tank I will check that again with my captain tank, but I, I don't think they, they load it like this but okay you can see now when I change the weight uh, 
let's set a more realistic value. So now when I change this, its maximum goes to 24% center of gravity. And it also has a lot of dummy stations, which, uh, which is uh, loaded. But the center of gravity are not, never ever moved beyond 24, basically. And if I set max fuel and move this slider, goes to 22 maximum. So if I change payload to like 60 tons, 5 tons, Says the center of gravity 20.37. That's a more realistic center of gravity. Um, and it's the same with other aircraft, but, but of course, if I do this, it should uh, if I do this and do this, you are overweight. Two hundred twenty-seven percent payload. So now, if I start sliding this, it goes hundred percent. So it can't take more weight in. If I move this to hundred uh, percent. The latest numbers I I got from my from my captain friend is that with with a normal two-hour flight, uh, they they often have uh, seven to nine thousand kilograms of fuel. And with a four-hour flight, they have 13 to 15 tons of fuel. So that is, but but regardless of that, center of gravity never goes about 20, 24. Uh, so uh, this, I think, is a problem. 